hey guys welcome back to another video in the series of devops project and in today's video we are going to talk about jenkins and nexus repository we are going to understand how to integrate both of them and in our project we are going to integrate because we want to publish our artifact to nexus repository all right so this is where what we are going to do today so uh, before moving further in this video i would like to request that if you're new over here kindly subscribe the channel because it supports me to create more content all right so let's dive right into the video so in order to do that first of all go to manage jenkins and then go to you you can find a lot of options over here you have to go to manage credentials and then you'll find a credentials page over here right now there are no credentials saved so let's go over here in the global and then add credentials okay so this is what you want to do there are a lot of options over here but i want to use username with password so this is the only thing that you need to know scope is global jenkins that's perfectly fine the username is the username that you have given over here so i hope you have uh, you remember about it okay the password of it whatever it is the id and the description so you have to fill all these details so let's start okay so what was the username that you were using how do you find identify it go over here go to admin you can see the username is admin so just copy it go over here and paste it or you can just type it okay and then password what was the password that you gave okay i gave this password let me fix it and whatever yours was there you can use that id if you want to understand this helps to help for feature so basically id um it's not mandatory description is you can write password or you can just say nexus login okay creds that's all so this will make it easier for you to identify it okay now click on that okay um, this is done okay so this is it is saying this is the id and if you want to change it in order to understand it just go over here again and then uh, the id was this you can just remove it and then if you want to change it you have to change it in the previous step itself okay you cannot change it i'll show you so let's let's go back over here add new credentials okay let's give a username over here which was i guess nexus no nexus admin was my username and then password was this and then id id you can give anything like nexus user credentials okay and this is unexpectable character so i think this should be fine and description is password for nexus repo okay just save it and you can see it has come over there so you can use either this or either this i think this is a better way of doing it so you can just delete that okay so there's an option delete yes okay so this is done so this is the first step that you have to do let's go back to our dashboard okay so there is one more plugin that you need to know manage jenkins go to manage jenkins manage plugins and then go to over here artifact and then i think you have to go to available so let's type again over here artifact and then okay i think i have done something wrong copy artifact okay this is also you need to know okay so just install that and install without restart okay that's all that you need to know so these are the two plugins that we have installed over here all right so let it happen i'll just fast forward the video okay so this is perfectly done let's go to dashboard now there is one more important thing that you need to do so what you have to do is just go to manage jenkins and then go to manage plugins because we need to install a plugin that will help us to upload the artifact to the nexus okay so here go to available and then you have to look for the plugin so i'll type nexus over here and then nexus artifact uploader is the one that you're looking for click over it and then that's it what you want install without restart or download now and install after restart you can check anything i'll just install without restart okay so it is pending nexus artifact uploader loading plugin extension so it has started the installation okay so 
either you can just click this restart Jenkins when installation is complete and no jobs are running. So you can do that, but that does not matter. Let me do it. Okay. Now it has restarted. Let's just log in and then you can see there is already a pipeline over here. What you can do is you can go in sample pipeline. You can go to configure and make changes over here in these steps. But right now we are not going to do that. We are going to do that in the main script and then I'm going to show you, but not in this video. So I'll just go create a new item freestyle project and test pipeline. I'm not creating a pipeline. I am creating a test job. Okay. Okay. That's all go to build. And then here, when you click on this, you will find Nexus artifact uploader. You have to click on it. You have to give the next Nexus version over here. What we are using, we're using three HTTP is already there. So you don't have to worry about that. Go to this address, copy this and paste it over here. Okay. And remove this HTTP because we already have given it and you can remove this as well. Okay. Now, if you remember, we have saved the credential, so you can use this one password for Nexus repo. Perfect group ID. You have to create it over here in the Nexus repository. You can give it anything. So this not worry. So I'll just give my group ID. It does not matter. So do not worry about that because we are going to explain how we are going to do it. Okay. In the version part, you can give anything. Let's say 1.0 dot snapshot. You can give it anything which you want. And in the repository, you have to give the, uh, the repository name. So you can give anything, my repository, my repository, or if you want, you can give any other name like Maven repo or Maven snapshots, something like this. Okay. And it must not be empty and then click on artifacts, add, what is the artifact ID that you want to give? So if you want any ID, you can, you can just give my app ID, anything that you want. It does not matter. What is the type type? Uh, if you are producing a war file, then it has to be a war file. If you're producing a jar file, then it has to be a jar. Or if you are producing an ear file, then it has to be ear. I'll just give war file for now. Classifier, you do not need it as of now. And then file must not be empty. So you have to give your app. So what was your app name? whatever your app name is, let's say your app and then the file you are producing. Okay. So what are the file you are producing? My app dot war. So this is something that you want to do. Okay. That's all you have to do. Apply and save it. And this is done. I'm not going to build it because right now we do not have anything. What we are going to do is we are going to make changes in the sample pipeline, which is the, uh, which is our main pipeline. And we are going to make changes in the declarative pipeline. Okay. That's where we are going to understand it. Now let us understand how do we create a repository in Sona type Nexus. Okay. So this is the Nexus three that we are using. So all you have to do, there are a few things over here. So if you go to admin, you can change the username and password over here. If you go to this, you can go to documentation. If you click over here, you will see the whole documentation for it. Okay. And this is the documentation. So you can just scroll through and understand what exactly is happening. I've opened one page for this repository management. You can understand how to manage repositories and repository groups. What exactly is a group? What is the name? What is the type format status, URL health check and stuff. Everything is over here and it is available. How do you do repository management? Okay. Let's go back over here and then you can click over here. We just suggest the status and there is a lot of stuff. You can go through this. Let's go to repositories and I did not make any change. So these are the repositories that I have by default. Okay. But if you want to create your own repository, you can create, this is just an example. Okay. What kind of repository do you want? You want to select, um, let's say I'll, what I'll do is I'll just go for my two group. This is just an example. You have to give a name. Okay. Let's say my repo, I'm going to change it later. Okay. So there is a repo group ID and then there is a lot of stuff over there. Let's say the project name, V profile GRP, which is the group. Okay. And then hyphen repo. This is fine. Okay. Version policy. You have to select what you want to give versions, release snapshot or mixed. I'll just give snapshot for now. Layout policy is strict, permissive on something. You can select anything content disposition. You can select anything inline or an attachment storage, blob storage, default. 
and then member maven snapshot what you want if you want to select select all of them and push it like this and it will come over here and then it will create a repository for you so now you can see there is a v profile group repo present over here which i just created all right so do not worry about that that's what we are going to do over here so this is a very basic idea of creating but you can see that there is an option of group there is an option of proxy and hosted so we'll create for proxy and hosted as well because we are going to need it in the project okay let's go to create repository and what we are going to do over here is we are going to look for whatever we have created we have created group right let's go for hosted one this is all and give a name over here v profile hyphen repo okay that's all you have to give after that this should be released trick inline you can change it anything that you want and whatever that you want all right that's that's totally upon you i'll just give snapshot for now and then this is perfectly fine this is perfectly fine i'll just create a repository and you can see there is v profile repo hosted maven2 has been created okay we have to create a central repository for proxy as well okay so let's go over here and then look for maven2 let's go to click on this and give it a name v profile hyphen central repo so these are the three things that we are going to create okay spelling is perfect this is an so you have to give the location of remote repository being proxied okay so that's one thing you have to do and then block outbound connections on this repository auto block outbound this and this how long it should hold default storage and choosing rule so you can choose a rule if you want click on this and right now there is nothing not found in the cache ttl ttl is time for time to live there are cleanup policies that you have to do so right now if you click on create repository it won't work because you have to give a enter a url location of the remote repository being proxied all right so that's what you have to fill so just copy this from here and paste it over here so that's all you need to do about it let me remove a space from here yeah that's all uh, you can do that uh, that's all uh, you need to do over here and then just create the repository so once it is done you can see that v profile central repo proxy is online ready to connect you can see this is the url where it would be published and this is perfectly done and then there is one v profile group repo and v profile repo so these are the three things that you need to do over here in order to go forward okay so uh, i hope you guys have understood this part and if you if you haven't understood if you are confused about something feel free to comment below and we will answer all your questions all right so just make sure that these three things are done over here in this video and you have uh, you just have tried for test job we do not we do not want to do anything for this so do not worry about that we are going to write a pipeline for that which you which i am going to explain in the other videos all right so guys uh, feel free to comment below if you have not understood anything and i would like to know that what what you guys are doing and i would like to know that what you guys have faced if you have faced any problems also give us the feedback okay so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one